There we go. Yeah. Perfect. So, welcome to Meet the Agile Searchers. <laughs> so, Simon, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? You know, how long you've been with Agile Search and what you do, what you specialize in? Yeah, sure. Um, I specialize in um, talent as a talent acquisition uh, specialist mm -hmm. um, and have had two assignments so far with Agile. Uh, I started here uh, in January 2019. And um, yeah, before that, I've been uh, working as a uh, tech recruiter. So I have uh, experience since 2016 working with tech and recruitment within tech. Cool. So what assignments have you had so far? Uh, first, I had uh, one assignment at uh, M, uh, which is uh, a car sharing service that Volvo uh, started. Uh, and I was there for uh, about yeah, 10, 10 months. Uh, initially, we was, I was supposed to be there for six months, but then they uh, yeah, extended the assignment. And after 10 months, um, yeah, they, they were satisfied and uh, I moved on and started on uh, as a talent acquisition specialist at Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, where I started in, in January, and now it's paused due to COVID-19. Yes. So when you started at M and then later at Orleans, uh, what, what was it that the clients expected you to do? What did they do? Uh, yeah, at, at M, uh, they had... Um, already one person working with talent acquisition there. But uh, since they really wanted to grow uh, rapidly, they needed my help as well. So basically, they wanted help with uh, a lot of different roles within uh, tech. Uh, for instance, like um, mobile developers, uh, backend web developers, uh, engineering managers, uh, product owners, and yeah, basically, all of the different uh, roles you can imagine. Cool. Um, yeah. So in these 10 months, how many people did you manage to recruit? Uh, I recruited together with the, the other person that works there. We are, recruited 38 people. Wow. So yes, yeah, so approximately 19 people maybe mm -hmm. for those 10 months. Uh, and uh, my part of that was also because of they already had quite a good recruitment process set mm -hmm. ready so I could just basically uh, start straight away without having to set anything up. Mm. It was a bit different at Orleans because there they didn't have anyone basically so like for the first month I needed to like set up the whole process um, uh, write a document for everyone involved so they know like what's expected of them for every step uh, and yeah and basically uh, coach people if they're having a culture interview or a technical interview. Oh. In ways and uh, giving them example of questions they should ask and yeah, what to think of basically. So you have to set up the process there. Yeah, exactly. Cool. And uh, yeah, and then uh, before I think it was there about uh, maybe three months, and then we paused it. But yeah, for the first three months, I I hired three people. Cool. Yeah, but I think also like it depends on like now I've had two assignments so I can compare. Uh, I think one reason to why also I was able to uh, hire that many was at M was because they had uh, a really cool product. It was pretty new. Um, Volvo is very well known uh, and they're like the, the owner of the company. So yeah, that attracted a lot of good talent when when yeah you headhunt and you talk to them about what's uh, what's going on basically all right so what would you say agile search has you know brought to the clients that was unique like through your work through through our process um i would say a regular recruiter pardon compared to just a regular recruiter you know yeah i think yeah like one one big part like the agile search has um, been able to find uh, interesting assignments for us uh, consultants working here and also um yeah 
I mean, all everywhere, all from from uh, creating nurtures and getting inspiration from that to uh, like the ways of contacting. I, before I was used to um, headhunting and calling people up, and uh, now at Agile we use email and nurtures, which I prefer to do because you you don't tend to disturb anyone while they're working mm. and they can read their their emails uh, whenever. Uh, and also. Yeah, getting uh, like talking to to colleagues at Agile, uh, like seeing what they do, how they do, if there's something that's really successful, and yeah, get inspiration from from colleagues because uh, since we don't sit together, we we have different experiences from different assignments, and that might help uh, quite a lot when you talk to each other. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, so for M, you said there was already like more or less established recruitment process, right? Yeah. But was there any noticeable positive change after you were done with the assignment there, or? Yeah, I would say um, the most positive was uh, uh, making like, engineering managers and those who go through with decisions mm -hmm. like, engaged and getting them to understand, also the team members when it comes to the technical parts in the interview, uh, getting them engaged and realize, making them realize like the sooner we hire someone, um, uh, the sooner they don't need to do that. Like so, it doesn't add up on top of their ordinary work. So, yeah, I think that that helped a lot. That communication between um, colleagues at M and being able to, for me to to schedule and book meetings and interviews for them. That was uh, I would say the best. I. I heard from the other recruiter that was there before that sometimes uh, they could be a bit slow on responding, but I didn't. I never experienced that. I thought they went really smooth. So that I would say was the the best part. Hmm. Cool. Were there any specific challenges you had to overcome at either client? Something that was particular for them, maybe, or um, I would say like well, first of all. I think it's important to understand the company culture where you mm -hmm. come, mm -hmm. and also sort of understanding who you should um, talk to regarding certain things. And uh, as, as soon as you've like uh, managed to to understand who to go to, it's uh, that like that helps your work uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. And also. Um, yeah, getting to understand like the product and what we're doing, that sometimes is, isn't too hard, but I think that's really important also when you approach candidates so they so you know what what's going on and what what they expect from them as well. But I think that's the most important. I like stakeholders internally and understanding how how they work uh, and getting uh, creating a relationship with people that you need answers from is mm. I think is crucial. Nice. Um, is there anything else you you worked on uh, regarding like human resources there um, at either clients? Because the the project at Olens was bigger, right? Well, the project at Olens was for I, I sat with the e-commerce team, mm -hmm. and they they're building uh, and they have built now a, a marketplace online, mm -hmm. which means that like uh, Olens they don't only sell products that they have in warehouses, like other companies now can sell on Allianz platform, mm -hmm. which means that they don't have to do any logistics or anything, but they will um, increase yeah, the, the number of products online. So it's, it's great for customers in that sense. Uh, but that wasn't, I, I was focusing, focusing on strictly on uh, tech recruitment there, mm -hmm. but they didn't have anything set up, so I needed to set up everything and um, yeah basically when corona started like ne nearly everyone needed to go down in uh, work hours except for the e-commerce team because mm -hmm. they're still running and working 100 percent so they really depended on that team and that they needed to just push forward neat mm -hmm. so what what kind of roles have you worked on like uh... At Orleans? Either client, yeah, you mentioned some uh, for Volvo, but uh, for Orleans? Uh, for Orleans, it was uh, uh, back-end developers, mm -hmm. uh, front-end developers, uh, 
worked on uh, DevOps, uh, on uh, manual testers and uh, test automation specialists, mm. uh, and um, also like um, CRM developers. But yeah, mm. they they had different needs, but no no not no uh, mobile developers at, 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 like I did at AMP. But yeah, mm. that's basically what they they needed to to get. Are these, uh, you know, are these roles difficult to find? Um, I would say DevOps is the trickiest to find uh, out of all these. Uh, one good part was that both uh, clients, M and Orleans, they um, it, it went well to to hire English speaking people, which makes it a lot easier to find. Um, but I would say DevOps is uh, super hard to find because also it's becoming more and more popular and there is not they, we don't have that many devops people uh, on the market basically mm -hmm. uh, and also i think it's important that like what you can offer as a, a company will match what they currently have mm -hmm. and on that role i think it was yeah it wasn't a great match there so but i mean uh, then it's back end front end um, yeah that wasn't a problem really mm. Cool. Anything else you'd like to add, like about your experiences? Um, no, I don't. Th I don't think so. I think that's like pretty much it. What I did at both clients was I create this document where I uh, told them what's expected, what I expect from every step, and uh, I think that's good as a uh, thing that they can lean on and towards if they're not sure what is required in every step. And that's sort of a, a template and a document they have, and they can look at and see, like, okay, are we ticking all the boxes? Are we doing it correctly? So every candidate gets the same experience, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's fair. Um, and also, I think I uh, emphasized it already, but like getting to know the, the client and uh, the stakeholders and creating a good way of communicating with them. So the work for me becomes smoother and easier to do, I would say. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Simon. Cool. Thanks, man.